So back in middle school, one of my favorite classes that I always looked forward to having was physical education. And whilst in most of my lectures, I tried finding different ways to snooze or stuff a big bag of Dorito chips under my desk and finish it quietly before class ended, PE was just another recess where I could play sports with my friends and just genuinely have fun. But all that was taken away from me when this one PE teacher came along. And we're gonna call him... Mr. Payne. Mr. Payne wasn't just your average, hey, let's divide up into teams and play some good old dodgeball kind of teacher. No, 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 no. He was the kind of teacher who would immediately get you down on the ground to do some military push ups, and if you weren't counting loud enough, he was like, Louder! Louder! Say it louder! Ah! First of all, there was no one in school that was as jacked as Mr. Payne. Like, as a skimpy little middle schooler, he looked massive to me. He always wore these exact same tight-fitting black training t-shirts that made his muscles look like they were about to pop out of his skin or something. Plus, he was also the official coach for the Varsity Boys basketball team, which meant that he knew how to keep the rowdy bunch in check. He was like Fletcher from Whiplash, or the Gordon Ramsay of physical education. He was the kind of teacher that was not afraid to push you beyond your limits by any means possible. If he wanted you to eat a bowl of bark and nails, you were gonna eat those bark and nails. Along with the bowl. And even the table itself. Now one thing you're gonna know about Mr. Payne was that... Huh? Hey, have you heard? This bozo named TJ Toons got his YouTube account hacked a few weeks ago. I know. Hasn't he heard about online protection? It's like he's asking for his computer to get hacked. Yeah, if only he was using NordVPN, he wouldn't have gotten his computer hacked in the first place. Hey! Can you, um... Can you tell me more about this NordVPN? Uh, sure. Hey, wait a minute, aren't you TJ? This video was sponsored by NordVPN. I'd have to say, after my recent hacking incident, I've taken online protection more seriously than ever before. Thanks to NordVPN's top military-grade encryption and no data logging, I can now freely serve the web without having to worry about getting my personal information stolen by pesky hackers ever again. Haha, <laughs> just look at him. They're powerless little scrums of- ah! Simply boot it up and pick and choose whichever country you want to be in out of the 60 different countries available and boom, you now have access to all these shows that's not available in your country. And you can do this on 6 different devices simultaneously on either desktops or mobiles. Plus, if you think this isn't for you, there's a 30 day money back guarantee so don't be afraid to give it a try. Head on over to nordvpn.com slash tj tunes or use the code tj tunes to get 73% off a two year plan plus four additional months free once again that's nordvpn.com slash tj tunes enjoy and now back to the video now one thing you're gonna know about mr Payne was that lack of competence and frailty was intolerable standing in the shade during a blazing hot day f sitting on the ground after a strenuous exercise f walking for a few seconds during a mile run f f f and a sprinkle of detention. Cause yeah, he can just do that. Oh, and all the students were super reluctant in speaking up or asking any questions because if you said anything remotely dumb or slightly out of line, this happened. And that's how you play basketball. Any questions? Um. Yes, Mr. Toons? Can I sub out during a game when I'm thirsty? Do birds lay eggs in the air? No. Do cows grow on trees? No, sir. Good! Now go put on a heart rate and run a mile. Bro, oh, please, bro! Why are you doing- If Mr. Payne had a knack for anything, it was definitely making people suffer through his exercises. But among all these exercises, the worst out of every single one of them was none other than treading water. Now, if there's one thing that I can't do for the life of me, is this. How? How are they doing this? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a pretty good swimmer and I have no problem swimming laps around the pool. But for some reason, I just couldn't tread water. 
And knowing this, you would think Mr. Paint would maybe put me aside in the shallow end of the pool and teach me how it's done like a normal swimming teacher. But nope, he put me smack dab in the deepest, darkest part of the pool and proceeded right to the main event. We called it... The Treading Circle. The way this exercise worked was that we had to tread water for 15 whole minutes while linking our arms over each other's shoulders in one big circle. So if the guy beside you started struggling and panicking... <laughs> <laughs> you were dead. But that's not all. To make it even worse, Mr. Payne would make us take turns in carrying this 10 pound rubber brick over our heads. And if you dropped it before he blew the whistle, everyone in the class got an F for the day. Now this was me in middle school. I know, I know, I know. I was one scrawny looking noodle arm beta male. Not only were we unable to use our arms to tread, but as you can tell from the picture, my muscles just weren't developed enough for this. And to top it all off, I was right next to one of the least fit kids in our class. This wasn't even a PE exercise anymore. <laughs> It was attempted murder! Surprisingly though, I was able to survive the first few minutes of the exercise. But then, it was finally my turn to take over the break. Once it was passed down, I knew that nothing else mattered more than this very moment because if I dropped it, then everyone got an F. This meant a lifetime of bullying and being made fun of. And I wasn't having any of that. There was 5 seconds remaining on the clock, and by some miracle, I managed to keep the brick above water in the expense of my head being completely submerged underwater. And at this point, I was literally breathing in and gulping down a crap ton of water for air. And before my brain could panic and give up on everything altogether, I finally heard it. <gasps> TAKE THE BREAK! Hey, where are you going? It's okay, don't look back. Don't look back. Just just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Who cares about an F? I'll die trying to finish that exercise. All I gotta do is get on land. That's right, that's right. Come on, legs. Don't give up on me now. Come on! Almost there! obviously saw the sad public display of me thrashing and bashing like a maniac, so he casually stepped in to save me without breaking a sweat. And then I passed out. Thankfully, I didn't take the blame for the class failing, but despite my best efforts, I still got an F for not finishing the task, and after this grueling and embarrassing near-death experience, I hit the cafeteria to take a breather to treat myself for all the crap I went through for the day. But before I could even pick out anything, I heard a very familiar voice call out to me from behind. Mr. Toons. Yes, sir? Pick a drink. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Sorry for holding the line. I actually haven't decided yet. You can order first if you want. I don't mind. No, I mean pick a drink. It's my treat. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. It's, it's fine. It's on me. Okay. Thank you. Keep it up. You know that moment when someone you know, who's always been so mean and so harsh to you, suddenly show you one tiny vulnerable act of kindness, and it somehow becomes this huge emotional slap across your face that hits you way harder than a thousand normal act of kindness from a regular friend? 
This was that moment. I freaking chugged that drink with tears rolling down my eyes. And that's when I realized this was Mr. Payne. The kind of teacher that you hated with every fiber of your being, but also respected, admired, and wanted to impress just as much. I've been so caught up in just how much I hated the way he taught or just the things he made me do that I completely forgot about how much of an impact he's made in my life. Looking back on it now as a grown adult, I only have respect and appreciation for what he did for me as a teacher. And I guess that was just Mr. Payne's way of showing that he cared. At the end of the day, he was still the worst PE teacher ever. But then again, he was also kind of the best. All right, let's get to recording. <clears throat> hello, 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 blah, blah, blee, blee. Here we go. Yes, Mr. Toons. Yes, Mr. Toons. Yeah, Mr. Toons. What do you want? Yes, Mr. Toons. What is it? What do you want, Mr. Toons? Fuck. Indulge us with a question about... <laughs> about, about, about subbing. Mr. Toons. Mr. Toons. Mr. Toons. Mr. Mr. Payne is the name. Don't wear it out or you'll be lame. It rhymes, so it's cool. Goddamn little cute, look at you. What are we doing? <laughs> Stupid. Pat, pat. Keep it up. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that's it. I hope, uh, hope the video does well. I mean, it seems like a good video. It's fun. It's cool. It's great. I love you. God, look at us. <laughs> look what we're doing. Uh, okay. Well, you know the drill. Stay hydrated. Uh, and smash, like that smash button. There we go. That's the one. Bye-bye.